Hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today is a pretty quick tutorial, but it's been uh, pretty suggested, and it is how to die from the void. So if you guys do not know how the void works in this game, uh, you actually don't die, you just basically like fall forever. And I am going to be applying where if you die at a certain height, um, it will retry the game and it will reset your player. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we have a third person camera set up. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, in the top right of the video, uh, there will be a link to show you uh, more in depth on how to do this. If we go into the uh, the editor, we could see that it is very basic, but um, what we need to do first is for the void, what we're gonna be doing is tracking the person's position. So if we go to objects, sensors, and location sensor, um, we can see that this has a Y position. Uh, and if our player falls at a certain height, we want the game to retry and we want the player to die. So all we have to do is connect this directly to our person node on, just like that. And uh, we need to set up a way where if it is uh, low, like if it's at a low position, we want our character to die so we could either do less than or equal to uh i think i'm going to do less than just because uh if it gets any lower then um it will retry the game so uh we have less than so just like that and um if we go ahead and compare it with a constant so we need a constant and for the constant um this is actually really up to you guys um there's not any you know like defined way where the void is but uh you let's just try negative 10 for right now so what's happening is when our location sensor and when our player falls at negative 10 so this is in the void um this will go off and then this will send an output and with this comparison um you can do a lot of different things you could do uh output and then uh retry game or end game or even swap game if you wanted to so uh, let's do retry game. So the game instantly retries itself. And if we go in the game, uh, we can't really fall through the world. So I actually will go back to the um, the editor and I'm going to change the world a little bit. So uh, we have the world node on right here. And uh, if we go into the settings for the world shape, we can go ahead and change it to none just so that we're able to fall. Um, and then also, let me just go ahead and make a platform so I don't uh, instantly fall through the the world. Uh, let me go ahead and just make this square and turn off movable so it, it doesn't fall too. So we could just put that under our player. So now if we go in the game, uh, we could see that our player is on this platform. And if it were to accidentally fall off, after negative 10... Um, the location sensor reaches negative 10, uh, then it will send an output and uh, basically the game will retry itself. We can do that again. And of course, this is customizable, like always. Uh, for the constant, you can change it to uh, something more of a higher value or even a lower value if you wanted to. So if we wanted our player to die really quickly when they enter the void, we could do it to negative 5. So as soon as it hits negative five, it will go ahead and change itself. Or it could work uh, the opposite way. We could do like negative 15 so that there is a longer wait. Um, yeah, see, it's definitely longer. So uh, you guys could definitely experiment with this. It's definitely customizable. And uh, hopefully you guys implement this in your projects. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and uh, I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Thank you.